Welcome back to my let's play of the Tomb Raider reboot. Um, I had a, a little bit of a problem last time I started recording where uh, my recording kind of just shut down. But all you missed was uh, Laura have a conversation with um, Roth where he said he saw the, the crash happen and then he told her to uh, come back and find him. And then I got a skill point, which I used on um, this survival skill. And now that we're all caught up, we can continue with our uh, gameplay. And here she automatically turns it on for w whatever reason. I'm guessing it's just like a lighting thing. Here, I, this is uh, an upside down shooting sequence, kind of like that one sequence that The Last of Us also had. Oh, and looks like we're gonna get an update, uh, an upgrade with the rope. Here, this is something that's kind of very similar to um, the other Tomb Raider games that uh, came out from Crystal Dynamics, since a lot of them had uh, these mechanics as well. Oh god, I'm getting, oh no. Yeah, so the other games also had this mechanic where um, you always had this grappling hook with you, which let you climb and do land pull on objects and other things and here it's been replaced by the rope um which is which is fine i guess since um it is it is nice to have like different ways of uh playing this anyway because the grappling hook wouldn't have really made sense in this context anyway all right this is this is gonna be too difficult i gotta i gotta be really careful oh god Alright, let's not screw it up again. So, alright, this first one's easy because they kind of just hand it to you. Okay, there's that. Second one you can take out pretty easily also. Let's get rid of... Careful here. All right. Hmm. Seem to be dying pretty easily here. So let's see. I guess taking out that guy over down there, or at least one of them, was probably the best idea. So let's see. How about I do that right here? There we go. And that guy. Okay. Not going to be able to take him out so easily. Let's wait a minute. Wait for him to shoot. Move here. Take him out. That just leaves this guy. Zoom in. And there we go. Okay. Anyone else? Or is that it? Alright. Music died down. Looks like we're good. Um, so now we can use this rope to do some puzzle solving stuff which is fun to do I think oh shit was I supposed to do that okay alright that was good I kinda didn't know if uh, I would have made that jump but I guess it's alright okay so now we got gotta use it for puzzle solving stuff and whenever you see something like this right here you can use this so let's pull uh, over here and, s and see what we can do with it so that drops some stuff down there. Is that going to be part of it? Not really sure. Hmm. Let's think about this real quick. There is that right here, right there as well. This might be useful. It's dropping more things. Is that going to be used for something? 
Oh, shouldn't stand here. All right, what's this right here? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I'm not 100% sure what I'm supposed to be doing right now, but. Can I just jump on that? Is that close enough? Alright, well, might as well try, right? No. Oh, you can. Okay. So that was a lot more simple than I thought. Alright, nothing over there. So now we can make our way up here. Um, I guess scavenge these guys while I have the chance. So now we can go there or here. And this seems to be like a bonus thing. So let's do this first. And it's going to get us some extra salvage. And some more ammo for the arrow. Okay. I also like how... She doesn't really take fall damage easily in this game. The problem that I had with um, the other Crystal Dynamics Trilogy and Legend Anniversary and Underworld was that she kind of took damage like very easily. Like from the slightest fall. And that was usually done I guess because... Um, that looks like a good spot to hook into. Okay. So that, and that was usually done because of... Like um, it kind of made puzzles a little bit... Um, difficult to make I guess if uh, you could just fall off of some stuff and they wanted you to kind of follow specific paths that they already had set out so which which meant that they kind of limited you in some ways and one of those ways was that she took fall damage very easily and it was always kind of annoying yeah I think I think it was the worst in underworld where you took fall damage really easily but that game was also um, easier than the other two, so I guess it's our- oh. Oh, that's just Roth, okay. <laughs> Alright, we're good. You and me both, girl. One moment they were fine, the next. There was this storm, it came out of nowhere. It's not your fault, Laura. I called them here, Roth. Hey, we'll find another way. Uh, mayday, mayday, co-pilot, just a bear. Another pilot. One, seven, seven, Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, badly hurt when I landed. I need to aid. Is anyone there? Captain Jessup, do you read? I've deployed a smoke signal. Please respond. All right. Oh. Uh -oh. He can't hear me. Smoke signal, which means other people are going to be that go in there way too fast. We'll need to regroup as soon as they find Sam. I can't just leave him out there alone. I need to get to him. Sometimes you've got to make sacrifices, Lana. You can't save everyone. I know. Sacrifices. No, you know about loss. Sacrifice is a choice you make. Hmm. Is a choice made for. That's interesting. I can't choose to let him die, Ross. Well, here's a little um. Uh, I guess you would call it a taste of uh. Oh, can I actually? No, I don't have like, anything. Uh, it's a little taste of um, Lara Croft that and what she was like in the other games. And since this is like a, uh, I guess like a coming of age type of story, anyway, it's a good, it's a good thing to have in here. This hut looks clear. We ain't gonna find anyone up here. You're probably right. We got. All right. So what do we have? One, two, three. I'm gonna head down and join the others at the plane. You keep yeah, just three. All right, we can pretty much stealth these guys pretty easily. I'll get right on. Let's see what they're doing real quick first before we move in. Oh, we can probably take out this guy right now, actually. Oh no, they're looking. This guy's behind, so take him out first. Since he doesn't notice, take him out. That leaves. No one here, which means we can kind of move on to the next part. Let's see what we find here. A kind of mortar and pestle, probably used for preparing medicinal herbs. Let's see, we can find some extra info here. Not exactly sure where. There are small bone fragments in the mortar. Where? Hopefully animals. Oh, I see. 
Well, now that we learned all about that, we can move on, I guess. Anything here? No. Alright, so the one guy left and is probably over there. We most likely won't have to worry about him until we're much closer to that area. So let's just salvage these guys real quick. Wait, there was one more. Where's the other guy? Did he fall down? Alright, he might have fallen down. We're gonna have to leave him be for now. Now oh, here's a thing I can uh, I can light up. Come on, come on. Anyone out there? Huh? I'm here, Ed. What's your situation? We followed a group of men to some kind of city. This place is insane, Ralph. What the hell are they doing here? I don't know, and I don't think I want to know. Any sign of Sam or women? Nothing yet. Are you with Lara? Yes. We'll be uh, heading down the mountain soon to meet up with you. Okay, so that's our location. But it looks like there are some things I can do over there first. So I'm gonna go do that right now. Let's see what kind of things we can do here. We can light up another one of these. Um, let's see. There's a thing I can shoot with. I think I can point it at? Oh, right there. So let's go do that. Um, not sure what's over here, but if it gives us extra things that, to help out, it might be useful. So this seems like completely optional, since the thing was pointing this way, which I always really liked about this game. It does give you a lot of uh, extra things you can do. Okay, don't see any enemies around, so I can move around freely. Oh, I should be over there first, shouldn't I? Okay, so the game crashed again, and oh, well, not sure if that's how you're supposed to do that, but I guess it works out. Um, so yeah, so the game crashed, and I loaded it back up, and then shadow play just wouldn't work for this game for whatever reason. So then I had to restart my computer and everything. And this is like the third issue I've had to just today with this game. And it's like, whenever you have these kind of issues... Japanese herbal medicine, or Kampo. Hm, looks like this vial has been sealed for many years. So whenever you have these kind of issues, it kind of makes you not want to record anymore. So... It, it can be kind of annoying a lot of times. Mushrooms used to boost the immune oh. system. Also known as dancing mushrooms. So, hopefully, let's. We can pray that it's not gonna happen again and everything will be fine. Because it's gonna get kind of annoying if we have to keep dealing with this over and over again. Alright, let's see. Um. I can get that stuff later when we go back down there, but for now... Wait, can't grab that? What the? Did I mess up somewhere? Alright, well, since we're down here, might as well grab this stuff over here first. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I guess this is just a problem with the game somewhere. I have spoken to some of the villagers on the... Alright, doesn't matter. Um, and... This is just one of those issues with trying to play PC games anyway. There's always like a million issues that they always have. Which is kind of why for the longest time I was pretty much only playing console games. Because all this hassle is kind of taken out of it. Um, but you know. I guess the game does look real pretty and stuff. So there is that. Even though I think um, the version that's of this game that's on PS4 and Xbox One is pretty close to um, how this game looks on like the higher settings anyway. So yeah, so this is just um, a completely optional section, but because it's 
because as you can see that I'm finding all these um, parts and stuff it's, a lot of these optional sections are pretty important in this game because they do give you stuff that is very important later on hmm. alright so the, the game kinda told me to use survival instinct there which probably means that there's something they wanted me to see while I was down there and what the okay not sure what's up with that so yeah I'm pretty sure there's something I'm supposed to be uh, picking up around here uh hmm what could they be referring to alright well I can go over here this might be like an extra tomb or something which would be fun to explore or is it just another one of these oh whoa whoa is this an alternate path? this might actually be an alternate path oh crap that's not what I wanted to happen oh no this isn't going so well Okay. Oh no. Okay. So that didn't turn out so well. But mostly on me uh, being, I guess, um, a little too hasty to go and switch my weapons. So you, I guess you gotta be, you gotta be pretty careful with these things. Let's see. How exactly does this match up with? Uh, the area before I'm not actually really sure but looks like we can progress this way anyway so let's just keep going and see where where this leads us actually the, uh, because of those markings I'm gonna actually guess that there is a tomb here cuz uh yep cuz that's usually what's around in these kind of places so let's see what we can find and as usual you have these uh, slow walking sections because they gotta load up the tombs which is fine I guess much better than looking at a loading screen anyway and they're not like very symmetrical looking so they're not that boring to look at either compared to some other games which don't really have the best uh, or the most interesting looking of areas when it comes to those things Now, I don't know what happens if you miss these rifle parts. Because um, they seem to be in very, like, optional areas. So I guess it's, um, even though sometimes it's not the best to do optional areas for something like this, it's probably a good idea to go for them because it... Oh, this is a windy place. Because it does give you all these extra nice things that are really useful to have because... Um, upgrading your weapons is pretty important when it comes to taking on the later uh, challenges in the game. Alright, there's anything in here? Um, I can modify... Oh! Nice. Better bow. Still don't really have... Oh, and when you, um, when you get... What is this? Okay, so when... Whenever you uh, upgrade your bow what happens is that new uh, things become unlocked that you can use to uh... wow this is windy this was once part of <laughs> where is it? Uh, I guess it's some sort of windy valley so yeah um, a lot of these times um, these new upgrades become available which are really useful to have so let's see this is going to be an interesting puzzle probably. It's going to probably take me a little bit to figure out. So let's figure out what are the functioning items here. So there's one of these things right here. Let's see what happens here. When you use it, it goes back there and it pretty much becomes pointless. Okay. So it's kind of useless right now. And since this is right here, these might be able to close these windows right here. Okay. 
I don't know if this is on a timer because that wind is pretty strong. So let's hope I can do this. For yep. It is on the timer. Oh, I can't close it. So I guess I just gotta get up there. As fast as I can. Oh! <laughs> okay. Interesting. Alright, so let's do this quickly. Now that we know what we're doing here. Go here, open this up. That moves it up there. A little bit of wind is fine. Uh, you get on here, and I'm guessing you have to wait. For t oh, I see it, I see it. And once. Uh, so I need to get up there. And the only way to do that is using these. Hmm. So maybe the best thing to do actually is to do this first. Let's do that real quick. Close this first. And then do this. Thank you, Survival Instincts. So now this will be here for a little bit longer while that is opening up yep oh uh, nope so even that's not fast enough which so that means hmm. because that first one opens up like the way it does I guess we should be using that as a timer so we should wait and see what's going on here and now that that happened we can do this one and now we should have plenty of time to get up here jump right here and the second one will open and here we are all right I kind of miss the uh, hitting the Y in like a in a rhythm with how she's moving the which was avail which was in um all three of the other the last trilogy with uh, legend anniversary and underworld but here I guess her was this part of a larger complex of ruins but I guess here her normal walking speed is fast enough anyway or normal um, assuming speed is the same as what it would be with Y so I guess speeding it up might make it look kind of silly but I always found it to be a little bit more uh, fun because there was more interaction going on when it came to actually uh, doing these, uh, doing those sections. <gasps> Still not clear what she actually finds, but it doesn't matter because doing this gives you tons of experience. Oh, oh, <laughs> why, why, <laughs> why was there a handgun part just lying around in that kind of place? All right, well, I guess we can just accept that. I wonder if all this wind will... No, no. Keeps the flame going. In fact, the flame should be um, moving a little bit more in that direction. They should really add that in there. All right, nothing here. Just more of this. Let's see. Um, no. Carefully looting extra salvage. Extra rewards in animal corpses and food caches. Alright, let's do this one. Since this applies to more than just uh, animal stuff. Oh, what is this? Climbing axe in combat. Okay. Press Y near enemies. Strike with it. Okay. So now, instead of just the shove that she had before, she actually attacks with the axe. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right, so now we're gonna have to walk through this uh, loading screen back to the other area. Oh. This could be, um, don't really like him, but I always have to keep telling myself that they could be worse. Can't even uh, do any like rolls in here. 
But I guess it was a pretty big thing to um, load before anyway. Now back into it. Um, so yeah, I guess I guess it wasn't um, uh, a shortcut back to the other place. It just leads you to here. But we can go right there now. Which will probably be pretty useful. So where do we need to be heading right now? Over there. There are probably a lot of things around here that we can get. So I'm going to actually do a lot of those for now. So let's, let's think about this real quick before we move on. Um, so there's stuff we can do down there. So let's head over there first. Especially since there are salvages here, which is really important. Oh, and another one of these. Um, this will let us connect with that over there. Which uh, seems to be having some sort of um, eggs or something. Which might be a collectible, I'm, I'm guessing, the way that it's kind of just right over there. Anything else here? Oh, there's... Uh, a book. It's time for me to leave this accursed island. I have seen it. All right, don't care. Um. Hmm. Oh, that's actually the the place for uh, progress. Okay. Well, we'll do we'll do that like some other time. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Egg poacher. Okay. So, I guess she wants those eggs. Alright, so that's where we need to go. So I'm going to actually move up. Here, wait. No, I'm not 100% sure exactly um, how to do the rest of all of, the, all of this stuff. How do I, okay, there we go. So, from the looks of things, what else is around here before we move on? Uh... Is there even anything? Really? We can go up there, but nothing interesting there. So I guess... I guess we are just supposed to go that way. But... I do see... Oh, no. Those are the eggs I already got. So it's okay. Hmm. Oh, but there were some eggs over there. Can I do something with that? I need to uh, find somewhere... One of those uh, posts that let you connect to that. Where, oh, I, I guess I could use one of those. Okay. Alright, I'm getting this. I'm getting this. Let's get up here. Um, when we look out from here, you can probably see the places I want to go. Which are... All the way over there. So I want to probably shoot this, like this, and go up there again. I believe this is where um, I first came out in this area. And now, oh, I didn't even notice this. And now I can probably make that jump. Alright, let's go. Alright, we're good, we're good. Grab those eggs, jump up here, light that statue up, and then I think we should be good enough to uh, move on to the next area. Anything else here other than the statue? Hmm, doesn't seem like it. Okay, let's, uh, let's get rid of this. Get rid of this torch. It's not helping out right now. 